everyone, welcome to my class. In this video, I'll be talking about force. What is force? Force is pull or push on an object. So force to be accurate, there must be minimum two objects interact with each other. Um, more formal definition for force is transferring momentum in time. And force is symbolized by F on the top arrow. Arrow means it's a vector quantity. Vector quantity means which has magnitude and direction. And unit for force is Newton and measured by Newton meter or force meter. So there are types of forces which can be grouped into two, contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces are friction force which occurs when two objects rub against each other or muscle force we use to pull or push something Another type of contact force is tension, full of rope, string or wire. A resistance is also contact force occurs when object and air particles rub against each other. Well, non-contact forces are magnetic force and magnetic materials experience this force in the magnetic field. Electrostatic force is another non-contact force. Charged objects experience this in the electrostatic field. Gravitational force, also non-contact force, objects experience this in the gravitational strength field. Let's talk about balanced and unbalanced forces. If an object under balanced force, the net force is zero, which means objects will be stationary or will continue its motion in a constant speed. If an object is under unbalanced force, it will accelerate or decelerate in the direction of the unbalanced force. Well, let's talk more about unbalanced force and its effects. Unbalanced force can change motion, which means unbalanced force can accelerate the object, decelerate the object, or start the motion of an object, or stop the motion of an object. Another important effect of unbalanced force is changing shape or size. Uh, this change can be elastic or inelastic, means permanent or temporary change. Example for elastic change, spring elastic change obeys to the Hooke's law. Well, what is Hooke's law? Robert Hooke says that extension of spring is proportional to the force applied in the elastic limit. Well, what is elastic limit? Elastic limit is maximum extent without permanent change. Okay, now let's talk about inelastic changes. Inelastic change by unbalanced force. Uh, we can give many examples, for example, if you bend a metal or if you break any glass pieces, these are called a permanent change or inelastic change. Or crashing can experiment. In the crashing can experiment, we heat up empty can and then upside down and insert into the cold water. Then automatically can will crash. Why? Because inner pressure becomes lower than outer pressure. Well, what is pressure here? So pressure is the applied force per unit area. When solid objects apply force per unit area, it's called solid pressure. Solid pressure depends on area. When force applied on a larger area, it will exert low pressure. When same force applied on smaller area, it will exert large pressure. When liquid applies force on an area, it's called liquid pressure. Liquid pressure depends on the density of liquid, the gravitational acceleration and depth of the liquid. When gas applies force per unit area, it is called gas pressure. Gas pressure depends on the volume of the gas, temperature of the gas, and the, the mole of the gas. Well, let's talk relationships of force with some other physical quantities. When force applied perpendicular to the distance is called moment. And moment depends on the applied force in a perpendicular distance. Greater the force, greater the moment, or greater the distance, greater the moment. Moment also called torque or turning effect of the force. We use torque in everyday life to open nuts with spanners, for example, or opening the uh, bottles, or in the lever systems, um, we use uh, principle of moment in the wheelbarrow and other relations of the force with center of the mass. What is center of the mass? Center of the mass is the place where mass is thought to be concentrated. Well, if force applied to the center of the mass, object will be balanced. If the center of the mass is lowered, object becomes more stable. 
and more force is required to move. Another physical quantities which has relation with force is momentum. Momentum is the product of objects mass and velocity. More force applied on the mass, there will be more momentum. Momentum can be transferred from one object to another object. When objects collide, total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after the collision, which is known as also conservation of principle of momentum. Well, another relation of force with time. When force applied over time, it's called impulse. More force applied in long time will have more impulse. Or same force applied in a shorter time will have less impulse. Thanks for watching. This is all for this video.